Greetings, Magic the Choir. Just a short word before I begin this video. Um, this was done about two years ago, two or three years ago. I believe it was two years ago, but uh, it was some things that I was seeing online and um, I had a bit of a epiphany. I was seeing two magical sisters, two witches go at it. And so um, I just spoke my piece, you know, did the video and uh, just made some what I thought and what I from the feedback I got some very very good points about how people are on different levels um, different various magical levels as well as all other kind of levels and so since everybody's not the same that is uh, the nature of this next video um, is a throwback I consider it a classic, so uh, hope you enjoy. Namaste. Welcome and greetings. I am Magic Require. It's gonna stop a virus. No. Um, this. Got y'all listening now. Some witchcraft for that ass. Late to turn away, I put a dabber and all that good shit. Yo. Hocus pocus got you focused on my rhyme. Simply easy now. I'm eating couch potatoes and my keys to go home. Dora Paws. While Rusty ended all, it feels amazing to have one. I'm not planning to ball, but why not take the chance to stunt? No, I don't need it all. Can think of a thing I don't want. Do I worship the sun? Or so my soul for the tongue? Or destined since I was young? Or got some voodoo done? Greetings. Namaste. Welcome to another edition of A Magic Choir Speaks. I am your host, Mr. Magic Choir. <laughs> um, give me one second here. Let me see who, let me jump in this chat box just in case somebody joins me early. So bear with me. Host, just a second. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, give me one second. This is not going to be too long of a video anyway, so it really doesn't even matter who's here or who's not here um again it seems like a lot of the the videos that i do uh happens after i see some shit that happens on facebook sad but true okay uh or conversations that i have with certain people on facebook but again i am not the one to drop anybody's names on here that's just not my thing. I, I don't believe in doing that. You know, if I have a beef with somebody, it's going to be pers private. It's not going to be publicly. I'm not just a little too. I would like to think that I'm a little too old to be engaging in such nonsense like that. So let me suck in here. All right. Give me one moment here. Today is Friday, the day of uh, Venus. So today will be the day to get your love rituals in colors are i'm not wearing them nope <laughs> the colors are green white or pink green for venus white for uh the color ishtar and other deities and pink the color of unconditional love that is friday the day of venus okay so anyway um we have to realize that everybody is not on the same page. Everybody is not on the same journey. Um, people are at different stages or levels of that journey, of their journey. Everybody's journey is personal to them, okay? So that's what I mean when I say everybody is not the same. We have stopped, got to stop thinking that everybody's on the same magical level that we are. So, people who teach other people should, in my opinion, just my opinion, should be humble enough to say, this person's not on my level. Let me explain to them how I got to this level and why I think the way I do, okay? Uh, everybody grows at a different rate, all right? Everybody doesn't have the same mindset, okay? A lot of people come to 
magical arts or the occult for quick fixes. Some of y'all just actually need some kind of counsel because magic's not gonna fix your internal issues. All right, yep, I said it. So anyway, um, the, the we will be better off as a people and as occultists, as spiritual workers, as root workers, as sorcerers, as magicians, as witches. Whatever title you want to slap on there, we'll be better off as all these things. We realize that the masses of people might need some guidance and might be at different spiritual stages or levels, like I said before. All right. Um, of course, I am not the same person. I don't think the same. I like to think that I've evolved in 22 years. Uh, I don't think the same way that I thought back when I first started. That is a fact. That, my friends, is called growth. Okay. Um, I've never, you know what? I'm about to beat both y'all asses if y'all don't stop. My two cats, they, they wait till I start to broadcast this and start wanting to fight. What the fuck? All right. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> where was I? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just because somebody is new to magic, don't give you the right to talk down to them, to act like you're superior to them. We have got to understand and know that we are behind enemy lines here in America. <laughs> uh, let me just put it that way. Uh, there's certain people who run everything. And at some point in, in time, you got to understand, if you're a revolutionary with this, that I'm all for it. Trust me. I was militant way before I became the cultist. But at some point, don't be so revolutionary about it that you forget to be smart. Okay? You can't be, this is just, this is just a fact, you can't be as free as you want to be just because of the situation that we are in right now. It's just not feasible to even think that way. Some of us do things behind the scenes. They don't broadcast it publicly, so we will never know how they assist in our freedom, for lack of a better term that I can think of right now. All right. So I'm just saying with the occult, yes, it's, it's a powerful tool. OK, but I do recognize that there are the sciences out there that I can employ while I'm doing this such as psychology, okay? The art of war, um, the 48 laws of power, okay? Military strategy, all right? I'm seeing some people, again, not dropping any names, that's going back and forth. And I'm like, I'm friends with both these people, so of course, I'm gonna stay out in any way. It's not my place to settle their beef, but um, I've seen one person have this revolutionary type of mind, which is fine. That's 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 great. The other person is a spiritual evolved mind, and that's even better because she knows how to pick and choose her battles. You know, I say she, goddamn. But anyway, um, uh, but like I said, we still got to realize that everybody is not on the same growth level. Some people learn at a faster rate than other people and then other people's the opposite. See what I'm saying? So it's not for us who people look at, who subscribe to our channel to talk down to anybody, to act like we're better than anybody or superior to anybody. That's just not productive at all. All right. Give me a second. I sound like your granny. Why do I sound like your granny? I mean, I don't have a woman's voice. What? Man, I don't even know how to take that. What you mean by that? <laughs> what, what you mean? Um, why do I sound like your granny? Um, what the fuck? 
I, I'm pretty sure you mean as a joke, but explain yourself, bro. Auto man, <laughs> explain yourself. Why I sound like your granny saying this? <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, for those of of people who are like can reach the masses and can teach the masses, because remember, masses, masses of people, they're easily misled or they're easily, you know, led. <laughs> Uh, so we got to be smart about the things that we say, especially on this medium, because this is monitored. You get what I'm saying? And the one medium that everybody's on, that's monitored. So, I, you know, I hate it, too, that you can't just say what you want to say. But at some point, when do you become smart about it? You know? That's my thing. Oh, when I was talking about cussing out the cats, yeah, I'm, I'm these two motherfuckers and they big cats and shit, so they want to be making noises while I'm trying to to talk the yard. That, that's that's just fucking rude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I know two days in a row. I know, I know. But I was saying some things and my spirit wouldn't let me let it alone. And when a Virgo has something on his mind, he usually got to speak to it. Oh, see, now they want to be all laying around and shit like nothing ever happened. Like they wasn't just making noise two minutes ago while I was talking. Bastards. But anyway, <laughs> yes, two days in a row, James, two days in a row. Um, that's not me either. I usually let weeks go by before I come on here, but I felt compelled. When Mercury moves me, that's what I do. So um, my point is that I'm seeing two people go at it on Facebook and I'm like, come on, man, we need both of y'all for real. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, don't be so motherfucking re revolutionary about shit that you draw attention to yourself either. I mean, that's not smart. It's not, not when you're behind enemy lines. Come on, man, we got to be smarter about the things that we do in public. Hello, okay, so let me get some shout outs right now. All right, Auto Man, they, uh, they confirmed that she wasn't like, <laughs> okay, I was arguing at the cast, my bad. What's up, brother, Terenzo, uh, uh, Leo boy, James, Alicia Rocket. It's funny that your last name is Rocket. I just looked at a video by the Jets. If you're of a certain age, you know who they are. The Jets made a, a, a video call, I can rock it to you. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. That's synchronicity. All right, so <clears throat> the lesson for today is, um, when you, you should always go with that gut feeling, that instinct, uh, your intuition will always guide you well. Your ancestral memory will always guide you well. Remember I spoke yesterday, just yesterday about, uh, you know, people being so revolutionary also that they see a white author and think automatically, oh, no, I'm not going to read that book. You're not looking at the root of the problem there okay so because they know black publishers putting out information about hoodoo it's going to take you to do some digging and some research to find and why not experiment to see if they know what they talk about a very little known fact about me when i was trying to learn voodoo magic this is a sad sad story i have to tell but it goes along my point that i made yesterday that um, when I was trying to learn voodoo magic, when I was trying to learn voodoo, okay? Uh, every black person that I went to was either being secretive about it, is being real cryptic about it, and was pissing me off because I was like, okay, I'm willing to pay for classes or whatever it is to teach me what I need to know anyway, right? Some of the voodoo magic that I learned came from a white person. I said it. All right. So he didn't teach me directly, but it was one of his books. 
his books cost me almost one of his book cost me two hundred dollars but the information i saw in there i cross-referenced and found out he was right and exact so then i started experimenting doing the things in the book found out they worked found out afterwards he was an initiated hoogan so he knew so black people taught him so i learned that way so what is the problem because it was a white man who wrote the book because ain't no black people putting out books on voodoo because they are being secretive about it of course you should get paid for your time i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is that people want to charge ridiculous amounts of money outlandish amounts of money that'll put your ass in a poorhouse to teach you that that kind of science and that's a shame that's really a shame you got to understand that our sciences are divided up not just black people but white people and other people are putting out this is a big puzzle that we have to put together ourselves so that's where your intuition comes in okay excuse me Ooh, drinking coffee and chicory i was trying to learn face to face yes to answer your question james i was trying to learn face to face i was trying to find a teacher um is when i really want to do know the dark side so they call it art uh i was trying to find some kind of mentor and actually some black people were actually turning me away right those same black people who were being real cryptic these days keep sending me emails uh about the classes that they have and i'm like all these years later and now you're man fuck you like seriously I know what I need to know now, you know, but my point in that also is I, I don't have any beef against them either. It's just, I've evolved past that. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not in, in me to, to, to speak about them like that. But when I was starting to learn and get somebody else to, to mentor me in that, a black person, that's when they started to want to come around. This is like, three years later after the fact and i was like you got to be kidding me. and i still get emails from these people to this day they are an organization in another part of texas or something i'm like well, what we fucking do when i went to y'all y'all these are one of the organizations that was being real cryptic about stuff you know basic shit too and i'm like damn he's being cryptic about that again fuck you so anyway um so I hope that answers your question, James, about, you know, was I trying to learn? Yeah, I've tried a uh, plenty of times to learn face to face and I was met with resistance. And this is the thing with us as a people, we find that we get into these sciences and we got some big ass secrets that we should not share with the rest of melanated people. And that is a fucking shame. You know what I'm saying? So I still see people out here hustling other people, um, charging them ridiculous prices, you name it. Just hustling people, telling them wrong shit. <sighs> so, but, you know, I don't knock anybody's hustle at the same time that I'm saying that. Um, but you should be, you know, being able to have some some idea of what discernment is and learn and know when somebody is trying to hustle you. I mean, your intuition, your gut feeling, that never steals you wrong, ever. All right, let's see. The elder black root doctors may or may not teach their children but it boils down to this is how they make their money and they will not share anything while i agree with that i agree exactly what you said that is how they make the money i just said i don't knock anybody's hustle however when people are willing to pay money then why are people still being cryptic about it? people are willing to pay to learn 
why we still misinforming people is still being cryptic about that. So, on that note, outdoor pause. Okay, so got the door pause in there. Um, <laughs> you know, that is how people make their money. I, I'm not knocking that. Everybody has to make a living, of course, of course. But I'm saying, I'm saying there's still people out here who will take people's money and then still teach them the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? Instead of educating people, this is how we as a race, let me say this shit again for those let me say that for those people in the back. This is how we lose as a race, constant. You know, you should be willing actually to fucking teach your own something. You know, maybe not the voodoo initiations. Maybe okay. What about hoodoo? What about the 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 stuff that was taught and that was 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 uh, built up right here on this land? What about that? Okay, root work. What the slaves, the enslaved people, had to do what they had to use in the woods to survive. What about that? You see what I'm saying? Maybe not Voodoo, maybe not Paolo, maybe not Kimbanda. Okay, all right. Um, what about any other occult science? This, I mean, no matter what. We still haven't learned the art of sticking together, no matter what. No matter what I say up here, it's not going to change anybody's mind, actually. But I'm just saying food for thought. These are just my thoughts. I'm just talking about how I feel personally. That's it. Hello, Melanated Enchantress. How you doing? <laughs> um, yeah. So, like I said, uh, it's not for me or anybody else, in my opinion, to look down on somebody trying to come into these sciences, to learn how to take control of their life and to better their life and to get what they want out of life. Because that is ultimately is what the occult sciences are for. You know, of course, everybody now is right now, I'm starting to sound like a broken record here. It is trendy and everybody's a witch now. You know what I'm saying? It was never intended that way. And of course, it was never intended for uh, the masses to have in mass. But you got a, a race that is down beaten and downtrodden and, and stopped in every single way to advance. Come on, man. What else? What else do you think is going to free people and help them to spiritually evolve to uh, the point of where they can get back to their level of greatness? What else is going to do that? It's not going to be money. It's not going to be reparations. Because I guarantee you, if they pass that shit and black people get the check, Dave Chappelle foresaw that they're going to be out there spending money on Cadillacs and fried chicken and all other kind of bullshit that don't have no kind of value, for real, and make other people rich. Now I'll say, oh, hey, what's up, Butterfly Rain? I like that name, I probably said that before. Okay, like I said, <laughs> um, uh, I'm sure I said that before, Butterfly Rain. Uh, that's one of my nicknames for the, the other half of me, my wife. I call her Butterfly. I don't know why or how I came up with that name, but, uh, yeah so anyway um at some point we gotta we gotta start thinking about us as a whole and they got us thinking that we shouldn't think that way yet and still they think that way all other races look out for their own except for us and i know i've said this before and i don't mean to sound like a broken record but it brings me to my point you should be able to to try and use this to bring up people who are not at your level of intelligence or knowledge, especially when it comes to magic. 
there are levels to this shit that you would never understand. I shouldn't say that. Never understand that you do not understand now. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some levels to this shit. It really is. And it does take finding the right people who not just trying to get money, but trying to help. Yeah, you know, I mean, think about all those those proverbs you hear, like each one teach one. It takes a village. All that shit is true. We have gotten beyond that. And we just like everybody's out for the individual success and willing to leave the brothers and sisters behind in the hands of other people. I mean, where's the fucking honor in that? You know what I'm saying? Um, we 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 don't even, and I hate to say this, but let me say, we don't even speak to each other on the street. Again, uh, let me not keep saying I've said this before because I know I have. Uh, I don't really speak to people. I really don't like humans. I don't. But I'm I'm you know melanated enough to speak to somebody who looks like me. Okay. But you should see some of the looks I get when I try and speak. I stop doing it for that reason. Because you can't speak to people. Because one, sisters think you're trying to holler at them or be disrespectful. Because the past five niggas that then spoke to her prior then disrespected her or called out her name. One guy that comes along to speak and is just being genuine, you done built up some hatred within that system. So I get that. So I, I actually will wait until a sister speaks to me. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. So that's my little spill for today. I know I just spoke yesterday, uh, but like I said, I was seeing two people go at it online on Facebook at that. I'm like, y'all, come on, man. But I, I see why the other person said something to clear her name she she was just um she was just setting the record straight so i see why she did it but we, we everybody does not have a revolutionary mindset it's just a fact okay some people may have um, an intelligent mindset some people are smart but everybody's not at the same level, but we should be willing to to sit down and discuss it at least with each other, not in public, not in public. That is what they want us to do. Let's not do this shit in public, y'all. I, I don't care if you are real disrespectful to me or whatever. I am not going to call you out in public. I'm never going to do that. that. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean try and attack me though. That doesn't give anybody a uh, go ahead to say, hey, Magic Quiet, you dumbass. I don't like your fucking videos. Listen, don't do that. I mean, I, I'm still a warrior <laughs> in my own right. You know, even though I'm at a certain age now where I think, well, I've always been that way. I always think before I act on something. Don't y'all think that Nas, before he made one of the greatest comeback disses of all time, don't you think he thought about what he was gonna say? Now, if you do that to a Virgo, I guarantee they're gonna they're gonna go way below your belt. They're gonna go to your feet. <laughs> so anyway, I'm getting off track. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. Spiritually inclined, like Alicia Rocket just said, some people are just at different levels. Uh, different levels of understanding, different levels of knowledge, different levels of occult technology. So I've never, me personally, I'm never going to think that somebody's dumb for asking me a question. Unless you ask a question that you think is related to Hollywood and Harry Potter, then yeah, that's that's kind of stupid. Like, I can't make you learn how to learn magic to transport yourself to another city. I could door pause that one, but I know I've related that, that uh, question before. I know I've said that before. Somebody really, really did ask me that. Can I make them transport like Harry Potter? 
<laughs> oh man, when I um when I think about uh that question today, I'm like, wow, poor misguided soul. But uh I never revealed his name or anything like that. That's that's not my mindset. You know, I'm more spiritually inclined than anything. And me being I know I say I hype my sign up a lot, a Virgo, but we are thinkers. So I think before I act on anything and I try to think long term and what the steps following. I like to play chess. Chess, which was developed by the Moors, is a thinking man's game. It is. I suggest y'all learn or read the 48 laws of power or research for yourselves. Now, that's not me talking down to anybody. I'm just saying we've gotten to a point where we don't like to fucking read, but we will do this all day long. Drive it. I've seen people do it. You know what I'm saying? Realize that everybody's not on the same path. Do I still talk to that person? No, I don't. <laughs> Cause he asked me another silly question. I was like, why am I talking to you? Why am I wasting my time? No, I don't. To answer your question, I don't still talk to that person. I think I blocked his email uh, cause he was getting to be way too much. I mean, I was like, is this a kid talking? I was like, how, how old are you, four? You know, um, he was asking me some shit that he had saw on TV and I was like, hmm. <laughs> but that's what that they get that Hollywood version or even even this though this is one of my favorite movies magic doesn't work that way this movie is called witch hunt and they use uh special effects a lot to uh drive home their points but magic still not like that making scissors levitate in the air and shit like that that's that's stupid like okay but the movie the movie's message is what i like called witch hunt and it stars uh what's his name uh, old school actor Dennis Hopper, I believe his name is. Dennis Hopper, it's called Witch Hunt. Check it out. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna keep y'all up. I'll keep y'all, just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, uh, we need everybody, honestly. Y'all, y'all, we're fighting a war that, that requires all hands on deck. Yes, I said that too. Uh, Terenzo will know what I'm talking about when I said that. <laughs> so anyway, y'all have a great rest of y'all day and enjoy the weekend. Try not to get into too much foolishness. Try not to drink too much and drive. Don't drive at all. If you do, that's what Uber is for. So anyway, my name is Magical Choir. I will see y'all next time. I'm staying.